closest or how far away the moon is. Okay, so how many people are gonna be able to see totality depends on the distance of the moon from the Earth, but it also depends on the curvature of the Earth. Take a look at this animation over here. So in this animation, this is of April 8th, you'll see that the, this is the South Pacific Islands here. Just at sunrise, you, did you see the shape of the umbra? It was not round. And it's not gonna be round over here. And that has to do with the curvature of the Earth. Now that takes uh, about an hour and 15 minutes before it gets to the other edge and you get what's called totality, okay, which is that. Okay, now, when are you gonna start seeing some really cool things besides using your eclipse glasses to see this? The sun has to be about 75% covered, about three, three quarters covered before you're gonna start to notice things happening around you and you will notice things happening around you, okay? The first thing you're going to start to see is that the sky is going to start to darken noticeably, okay? When you look at... The edges. They're not well defined. And that's because light is coming from here and light's coming from there. The light kind of fills in each other's shadows. So you don't have well defined shadows. So here, this is a picture of the ground, believe it or not. This is gravel. I don't know if you can see it. It looks like it's out of focus, but there's a leaf right here. And there's stones, some stones in here. It's not perfectly clear, but there are stones in here. And what this is an image of is the shadows of tree leaves um, before the eclipse. And you can see those. These look like little pearls of light that all center around where the diamond ring was, where the diamond was in the diamond ring. And what you're seeing is the last vestiges of light coming from the sun's surface, passing through valleys and craters on the edge of the moon. And they look like little pearls of light along the edge. And if you're lucky, because the sun is active right now, there should be prominences that you might be able to see. Now, they're not gonna look that big with your eyes. They might look like little red dots around the Bailey's beads, but you should be able to see a few of these. We're expecting to be able to see a few of these red dots mixed in with the Bailey's beads. 